All right, it's Saturday morning. I'm all packed up and ready to check out of the Noli Apartments. All I do is drop my key there, which I've done. And let's go to another step in the Baltics adventure. And it's another beautiful day here in Helsinki, Finland. What a great underrated city this is. But today we are off to another country. We'll be traveling today from Helsinki to Tallinn, the capital of Estonia. And thankfully we don't have to fly there. I'm done with airports and planes for a while. But instead, take a two hour long and hopefully very pleasant ferry ride across the Gulf of Finland in the Baltic Sea on a ship operated by the Talink ferry line. So today's mission is to arrive at the studio apartment in central Tallinn that I have booked for a couple of nights. And after those two nights in the apartment, I'll be moving over to a hotel in Tallinn and staying a few more days there. I'll explain why I'm doing that at a later point. So looking forward to getting back to Tallinn. I have been there twice before and it is a really wonderful city with a great medieval old town. And we will be doing a lot of walking around there. So the immediate task is to get to the Talink ferry terminal which is not located in this harbor that is very close by, but instead it's at the West Harbor. Too far to walk with all this luggage, so we'll be taking tram number seven to get there. So let's head in the direction of the tram stop. We are on this nice street that connects the market square near the harbor with Helsinki Cathedral, which is right up there coming into view. The tram stop is also just up there in the next block. Ah, one of Santa's reindeer. Obviously retired, though. I love these trams here, and I'm looking forward to actually riding one. There's a nice view of the cathedral. There's the hop on, hop off bus which can be an efficient way of seeing the city. You know, when you see these transit systems in many cities in Europe, how they run efficiently and they're clean and they're safe, and people take them, they can rely on them, and then you compare it to a disaster like the metro system in Los Angeles. You just got to kind of scratch your head and say, hmm.
I'm sure you can hear me rolling my luggage along. It seems that every hard surface in Helsinki is either cobblestone or brick of some sort. Makes for a more interesting landscape. And you can see the frequency of these trams, even on a Saturday. Nobody waits for more than a few minutes. This is my tram stop. I've already got a ticket because yesterday I purchased a 24-hour ticket um, by taking the ferry out to the island. And uh, so I've already got mine, but if you wanted to take this tram, all you have to do is use the automated system here. The screen is hard to read because the sun's shining on it, but here is the language and then you could scroll down to English if you like, hit the check mark, and then purchase a single ticket here. And then there's three zones that you could choose from. AB is the, the central city. So we'll just choose that one. And adult. And it confirms AB, adult. And that would be 310 euro. And then you would just uh, confirm that. And then insert your card or use contactless payment. So insert your card here or use your um, tap to pay there, uh, Visa or MasterCard, and your ticket will be dispensed and you're good to go. Okay, let's catch the next number seven.
speaks me love. Leaving the commercial core now, we're getting into a residential neighborhood of five, six, seven story apartment buildings. Maybe some of them are condos, not sure. Well, as you just heard, we have arrived at the West Harbor Ferry Terminal 2. And I believe she said that the tram number changes to 9, heading back towards Central City. So be aware of that possibility if you're going to be doing what I'm doing in the other direction. Oh, there's nothing around here. Well, I guess a lot of ports look like this. Industrial, utilitarian, functional, without a whole lot of aesthetic frills. But for me, as long as this is the right place, I'm happy.
Here's a map of the whole port. So I started off this morning in this area here. And there's the cathedral. We caught the tram here. And now we are down here, the West Harbor, Terminal 2, right down there. All right, let's see what we have here. Departures. This is the place. Let me get myself organized here before going to the counter. All right, I've got my reservation. Let's go check in. Hello. So I'm on the uh, 132 Talon. Mm -hmm. Should I, uh, is it better to check in at the machine or? Okay, great. Um, so, there's my reservation. Okay. And do you have your passport or ID card with you? Yes, sure. Okay, here you go. I found it. Thank you. Nice, that's very handy. It's in a safe place. <laughs> The little pouch. Okay, here you go. I, I tend to lose things, yeah. so I like to keep them okay. safe. Okay, I think I have to get one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're going to tell in? Have you been there before? I have. Okay, so you don't need a map. It's no, I don't. There. I've got my map packed with me. Okay, so, that's nice. So uh, where is a good place for me to hang out now? Uh, okay, um, so you can go upstairs. There's a cafe and a terrace. You can go to... Or the boarding starts at 10 to 1. So okay. if you want to take a stroll around before, it's also possible. Okay. Yeah, but you have you should come back by 1. By 1, okay. Yeah. Is there anything to see in this area if I walk or...? Yeah. If you walk that way, there is the statue. <laughs> oh, no, don't no. do it. It's just a short walk that way. Then you can come back and go upstairs for a coffee. Oh, okay, great, great. Yeah. And is there a Wi-Fi available here? Oh, yes. Uh, it's called guest, I would say, visitor or guest, the Wi-Fi, okay. so it doesn't require any password. Oh, great. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, thanks very much. Okay. Oh, by the way, I was going to ask you about my luggage. Um, um, is there going to be a place to stow it on board, or do I have to carry it around with me the whole time? Um, in case you want to go uh, somewhere, stroll around, then we have lockers over there. Okay. But if you just want to go upstairs, uh, you just have to have it with you. I just have to carry it with me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So could we get these Enjoy your day. No. You too. No, no, Only on the day of the day. Okay. So let's go walk up to the waiting area. Okay, Talink, ticket control. There we go. Heavy luggage, that would be me. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Big waiting area. 
with nobody in it. That's because I am like two hours early. There's a ship over there coming in. Uh, check this out, there's a carnival ship here. The Carnival Pride is currently docked in Helsinki, West Harbor Terminal. Look at that. So it'd be easy for people on that cruise ship to just get off and take that tram right into the center of town if they didn't want to pay for one of the excursions. Oh, that cruise ship is the Seven Seas Splendor. Looks like it's maneuvering around, maybe preparing to dock. A better view of the Seven Seas. And this is the boarding area for the Talink to uh, Talon at 1330 Megastar. All right. Pretty sure I'm not going to get a copyright issue on that one. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, we're in the embarkation process for the Talink ferry to from Helsinki to Tallinn. Oh wow, this is like a regular cruise ship. This is nice. Come on, I'll take you on a tour of the Talink Megastar. At least those parts of the ship that are accessible.
There's a closer look at the Carnival cruise ship. So I was advised by the security getting on the, sh the ship here that there was no filming permitted. And so I immediately turned off the camera. But I think that's kind of a ridiculous requirement since all major cruise lines permit all sorts of filming. And there are many YouTubers to prove it, so I am not going to comply with that request. And I will film as much as I can. I can't film the whole ship because I've, I have to carry this luggage around with me. So here's the layout of the Talent Megastar. I'm on level 8. I just went and I grabbed a table anywhere, but it's... Uh, the ship is not crowded, so I'm going to walk around and yes they do have elevators like a real cruise ship so I might go out and check out um, a couple of the other levels and this uh, this ferry does um, take cars as well so looks like levels Three, five, and six are car ducks. Here on level eight, there is a large store. I'm not going to go in there because I've got all this luggage. Ah, there is a luggage room here. Here's a lounge for uh, the premium paid customers. Okay, up on deck nine. We've got some restaurants here.
this one. I didn't need the big one. Here's a buffet restaurant. Some of the menu items. Passing some of the islands in the uh, Helsinki archipelago. This is the Sipa Victory Bar Garden. Passengers must immediately move to their closest gathering point. If possible, wear warm clothes. In case of fire, the ship's fire doors will close automatically. In case the room is filled with smoke, avoid passing through if at all possible. Keep as close to the floor as possible. Move to the closest exit following the glowing strip markers for the guiding arrows. Smoking in the cabin or on the car deck and in the ship's indoor spaces is prohibited. Smoking is permitted only in designated areas on the outer deck. Never throw cigarettes. Only use the special ashtrays located in the smoking The mini casino. I'm really surprised with this ship because I thought it would be your typical ferry ship with airline type seating, but this is really nice. Leaving Helsinki, you can see it in the distance.
This is the type of seating I was expecting to see throughout the whole ship. Okay, back on deck eight now. Looks like with this elevator you have to walk through the shop. So we'll do that. And through the cosmetic section. Okay, just doing a little pre-planning before I get off this ship. From the Talink ferry terminal in Tallinn to the Angleterre Apartments, which is where I'm staying tonight for two nights. It's a 10-minute uh, walk according to Google Maps. So here's the route. Welcome to Estonia. There's no passport control here because both Finland and Estonia are members of the Schengen Zone. Our mission now, go find our studio apartment. Hey, make sure you check out our upcoming videos where we will explore the streets of this fascinating medieval city. It's one of my favorite places in the world. See you there.